All right, so now we're at the uh, end of this and we're coming off your FM3 out. And in my hardware unit, just like I've said in the Live Gold, I've got um, the output two maxed out. That's what the manual says to do. And I personally max out my output one knob. You're, you might be at three o'clock um, or even as low as noon, depending on your FRFR. What you want to do is you want to have the signal coming out of this when you play bass to come into your DAW. It should hit about minus 18, minus 15. And if you play really hard, the peak should be about minus 12. It's a little less than what guitar signals are because bass is big, fat, and full. It doesn't need that. Anywhere between minus 18 and minus 15 is usually going to do the trick. So coming off the, the compressor here, whether it's just the bass amp through by itself, in mono coming off the compressor signal or whether it's the other one you're going to have go to two different outs this one will have a chorus there's four different kinds of choruses in here ce2 a, a big stereo a dimension three that I, we thought sounded good and a tri chorus you probably never use but it's kind of fun and then there's a geq and i like this five band passive a lot it's um you can get more precise with the 10 band and you can pick whatever you want but this is kind of a pull tech, uh, old analog kind of PEQ that's kind of gentle, musical slopes. I really love this, uh, this PEQ. A little bit does it. You do not have to do big things here. Um, they're, they're on, they're, instead of defaulting to off like this, they default on, but there's no setting on them. So you can change it any way you like. And then you go into your out one. And again, you can always change scene levels if you like here. That's that's a standard. But the out two is a little different on an FM3. So while the GEQ is the same, you're going to notice that um, this isn't set to zero dB. And that's because the out two level is much lower than the out one level by default on an FM3. Uh, and that is by design. That's not a problem with the preset. So I have added 10 dB by design to all the out twos to make them a little more equivalent to the signal that an out one's putting out. It's still less, it's not exactly the same, but it is gonna make it a little hotter leaving it, which, which otherwise you might be going crazy going, why is my out two not as loud as my out one? Now you know why, and if you wanna move this up a little bit or down a little bit, you can. So that's a pretty good walk through the FM3 edit. I'm gonna call up right now the um, X3 and we're going to take a look at that, just a couple of little differences there, and then we'll start to get into some other. All right, uh, notice that I've changed editors here, and this is for the Axe 3 edit version of it. And again, it's very similar, but they, we have more outs available to us on the Axe 3. And what kind of out 2 does on an FM3 is what out 3 is designed to do on an Axe FX 3. And I decided to, because we've got the extra outs for the Axe 3, I've added an amp tap. So this out three comes off of the amp before any of this other stuff at the end. So it's just a straight amp. So this is for people that might want to use this with a, um, you might want to use this with a real power amp and a real cab on stage. This will tap right off the amp, no cab signal whatsoever. It'll come down here and it'll give you a GEQ, which is useful. Uh, and it's always GEQ4, just like my uh, Naked Amps or Live Gold Tone Pack. Um, I always use the GEQ4, the last GEQ, with output 3. Um, and you can then tailor this if you need to you know, cut some highs or boost some lows into the cab. And this goes out to your cab. And so the settings, and this is in the manual that I gave you. Um, there's a picture of it. The settings on your Axe FX3, sort of my knobs for out one and two on the Axe FX3 are at three o'clock, but I maxed out knobs for uh, three and four. So, um, and then out four is just an extension of what we did for out one and two. Same thing I'm tapping off of here. Um, you know, on this one, notice out four though, I'm using the full GEQ, not the. Um, the uh, Pultec style GEQ, because the out four is sort of very similar to the out three. It's got to be maxed all the way out. So you can always change this though, if you want to use it like the five band passive, just do that, that's fine. And if I extended this back to the return, just to give you a couple of more slots here, if over here, 
you can add wet effects here. You know, you could add a delay here or something like that if you're going to do a delay bass or something. This is where you'd want to do that. And it would apply to all these different ones. Um, or you could move the chorus here and it, right before that, and it would apply to all of them rather than just one output. So you have a little more routing flexibility. You also have a lot more room to add stuff here. You could add a pitch in here if you wanted. It's a lot more CPU room.